bearing retainer. Turn the horizontal shaft counterclockwise and remove the key from the friction pulley. Release collar one. This completes normal maintenance. However, if you wish to replace the horizontal shaft and gear boss, support the gear boss with a pipe or similar item and place a wooden slat against the friction pulley of the horizontal shaft, then tap lightly to release the gear boss. This completes the disassembly of the horizontal shaft. and inspect the parts and replace parts as necessary. This is the procedure for assembling the horizontal shaft. Mount the gear boss on the horizontal shaft. Set the gear boss under the mounting part of the spiral gear like this and set the pipe. Apply lubricant to the engagement part of the horizontal shaft and align with the key. Then tap the horizontal shaft from the pump side. As when releasing the horizontal shaft, be sure to use a wooden slat. When the gear boss is completely mounted on the horizontal shaft, set the horizontal shaft in a vise. Insert the bearing retainer, then mount the bearings. If the bearings do not mount smoothly, tap them lightly with a chisel. When the bearings have completely cooled, lightly tap the inner rims of the bearings to confirm that they are mounted completely. Mount collar two. Retainer ring C. Turn the horizontal shaft counterclockwise and confirm that the bearings are completely mounted. Mount the bearings. If the bearings do not mount smoothly, tap them lightly with a chisel. When collar one is mounted, tap the key with a plastic hammer. Align the spiral gear with the gear boss of the bolt hole and tap it in evenly with a plastic hammer. Fasten with the spring washers and bolts. After the key is mounted, check the engagement with a friction pulley. This completes the assembly of the horizontal shaft.